Howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. It's another review today and it's another Sanito product. They seem to be a really awesome new company that uh, I reviewed one of their keyboards a while back. So if you haven't seen that video, you can check that out. But in any case, they sent me their new interface, audio interface, which is right here. It's called the Live Dock Pro. And this is hot off the press. It's not even on their website as I'm recording this, but by the time I release this video, it will be. So there'll be a purchase link below in the description, along with a promotional code, which will save you 20% for a limited time. But they said it's gonna be somewhere around $70. So with the promotional code, that'll save you about 14 bucks. Okay, so we've got some cellophane here. I have you. Get that off. And here we go. So right up top, we get our quick start guide and I'll make sure to read this in a minute because I'm honestly not even sure what all the features are of this yet. Here is our interface. So look how small this thing is. Look at this, teeny tiny. Um, however, if, you, 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 if you're familiar with Sunido, you might know they had another interface called the Live Dock, not Live Dock Pro, that was even smaller. By the way, it comes with a little Sunido, I don't know if that's a sticker or what that is there, but it comes with that. So we can see this is like a knob here, it turns. And then we've got several buttons over here. We've got some LEDs. Now on the bottom, you can see we've got a quarter inch, we've got a USB-C, and then we've got a couple eighth inch uh, jacks. And then we have a USB-C cable that's sort of, let's see if I can see that, how it's kind of just right in there on the side. So this would plug into your device. And over here on this side, we've got a couple of volume controls to go volume up or down. I'm assuming that's for, one's probably for the quarter inch and one's probably for the eighth inch. So also in the box, we've got some cables and adapters. We have here, this is a eighth inch to quarter inch adapter. Um, now you can see this is a TRS adapter. So that's a little weird to me because typically when you see a quarter inch on a recording interface, it's mono. So why is this a TRS? I'm not sure. Need to figure that out. And then we've also got a cable here. Now what's interesting about this, I don't know if you can see that, this is a TRRS cable, not a TRS cable. So now I'm really confused. What is going on here? Uh, I guess I need to read the manual and figure out what's happening. But it comes with a TRRS eighth inch cable. And then it also has a little wrist strap here if you wanna carry it around with you. And that is it. Okay, I looked over the manual and I still have some questions. So we're just gonna have to figure some of this stuff out as you go. But this is meant, this USB-C is meant to go into your device. The reason there's another USB-C cable here is when this hooks to your device, it's gonna be draining the battery in your device. So you can plug in a USB-C cable here and then plug it into the wall, and then it won't drain your device. It'll actually charge your device while it's plugged in. So that's the purpose of this. It does not say in the instructions if these are TS, TRS, TRRS, what they are. And I am, but they do show in the picture, they show a guitar being plugged into here, which would mean it's probably mono. But then I'm very confused because we've got a stereo adapter here and then we have a TRRS cable. It seems like these cables have nothing to do with the interface, but I don't know. Let's power it up and try out a few different things and see what happens. Okay, folks, so here I have my iPad and I have the Sonido Live Dock Pro. And just if anybody asks, my iPad is an iPad Air fourth generation and it's running iOS 17.6, uh, which is current at the time of this recording. I'm gonna launch GarageBand, which is included with iOS. And I'm gonna plug in the Live Dock Pro here. We see a little light show here as it powers up. And there we go. So uh, let's go ahead and pull up a keyboard here. This is a piano. And if I, I'm gonna guess, yeah, we don't hear anything because this should be doing our audio monitoring. So I have a set of headphones over here. And as you can see, this is a standard TRS headphone cable. I'm gonna plug that into the headphone jack. And then if I play something, okay, I'm definitely hearing that. Now I realize you can't hear it because it's coming through the headphones, but let me hold the headphones up close here and hopefully you can hear it. So it is working, it is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Let's go ahead and try a guitar. So let's go back this way and select a guitar amp. There we go. All 
All right. And there's our guitar amp. Here's my guitar, my guitar cable. I apologize for not being able to see everything. This is working in small space here. And then what this does here is this changes it, changes this jack from stereo to mono. So in green, it's stereo, and in red, it's mono. So that's what we want for a guitar is mono. And then this here changes the volume of that. So you can see that's the highest volume that it does and, you know, back down. So I'm going to put it right there and strum it. Oh, yeah. We can see audio coming through right here, but I can also hear it in the headphones. Now, I'm guessing the center knob will control the headphone level, so let's try that. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's definitely turning them down. Okay, so let's go ahead and attempt to record something here. So I'm going to go ahead and push record. Okay, so now it should have recorded that. Let's see. It did, and we've got a good, strong signal. So let's go ahead and play that back. Okay, now what we can do is we can add another channel. Okay, so now we should be able to record another track on top of that track. So let's try that. Okay, so there we go. We managed to record uh, just two little guitar tracks there. Now, of course, I can go back and I can take a look at this and I can change it if I don't like that sound. I can pick a different sound like uh, here. Let's just see what this one sounds like. So now let's see what that sounds like. Okay, so let's add another layer here. I've got um, my Chaosolator, and you can see I needed the little uh, adapter here. I'm gonna go ahead and plug that into our instrument channel, and then let's change it to stereo. And we'll have to add another track here. Okay, we should see, yes. We see audio coming through, very cool. So let's see if we can add some Chaosolator to this mix. And let's hear what that sounds like. Okay, good enough for now. I'm not trying to create a masterpiece. I'm just trying to show you how it works. So I guess the next thing we gotta test the microphone input. So this might be tricky because your microphone input here you can see is eighth inch and every microphone that I own almost is uh, is XLR. Okay, so here I've got a microphone and then I have the adapters here to adapt it to eighth inch. So let's go ahead and plug that into our microphone input. There we go. And then let's create a new channel for vocal and check one two check one two we've got oh wait that's this one check one two 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 all right that is turned up as far as it'll go and i have the microphone right up to my mouth but you can see it's really quiet it's really really quiet there um so that is good to know that this does not seem to be looking for microphone level. All right, so I'm still not quite sure what this is expecting, but I do have this here. This is a, um, it's made to look like an old phone handset, but you can see it has the sort of uh, TRS inputs, uh, microphone and headphone for your computer. So let's try plugging these in and I'll plug it into both and see what, oh, we saw something there. Check one, two, check one, two. We're not seeing any signal. Check one, two, check one, two, check. Wait, did I get these backwards? Is it this way? So we can see the ports are working. Check one, two. Ah, there we go. Check one, two, check one, two, one, two, check one, two, check one, two. Okay, so now we are seeing signal. So that will work.
So there we go. That is how it works. Okay, so as we can see here, my iPad is currently at 75% battery and I've got a charging cable here and it says that if you plug this in, it should be able to charge that. So let's go ahead and plug it in. And when we do, ah, look at that. We can see the iPad is now charging. So it works. So not only does it um, power the device, but it also relays the power through to charge your mobile device. So that is pretty cool. Okay, folks, so there you have it. That is the Live Doc Pro from Sunido. So now let's talk about the good things about this. First of all, the price point is fantastic. It does give you a lot of features for that price point. It's awesome that I just plugged it right into my iPad. I needed zero extra software, zero configuration. It just worked. So that is definitely a plus for it. And it does allow you to do a lot of things. So like if you're kind of a traditional instrumentalist where you want to record your own guitar, bass, etc., cetera, um, this would be great for that because I love how they put the quarter inch jack here and then they have this button where you can switch that from TRS to TS. So you could plug a guitar into it. You could plug a keyboard, whatever you want. Um, that is a really nice feature. Now, when you get into recording vocals, um, yeah, I think they kind of fell short, I'm gonna be honest, uh, because that mic input requires apparently a TRS mic at line level, which anyone who's recording vocals is gonna use a traditional mic like this, which is XLR and microphone level, which point and simple isn't gonna work with this interface. Now, you could plug this into a little mic preamp and plug your mic preamp into here, and then it would work, right? Because you could have a stereo out from your mic preamp. That would work, but then you have to carry another piece of gear. So I think if they really want to market it at vocalists, they've got to include a mic preamp in here instead of just having a TRS microphone input. Now, I could see this being a really good thing for like a streamer or someone like that um, who, you know, wanted to be able to basically have live content coming into their phone or, or tablet and stream something. I think it would work really well for that. And again, for the price points, you really can't go wrong. But if you are looking to do more advanced musical things with vocals and with any sort of different vocal microphone, condenser microphones, all of that, there's no phantom power. So you couldn't even use a condenser microphone with this, again, unless you had a separate mic preamp. So, you know, it is what it is for the price point. It's still a really, really great deal. And I really do like it. So check it out again, the purchase link in the description. And if you are interested, there is a promotional code, which will last for a limited time. So check that out. If you like, what I do on this channel, I would really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button for me. And if you like this video or if you just want to help me out at all, please hit that like button for me because that really does help out the channel. That really does help out or uh, speak to the YouTube algorithm and help these things get promoted. So I do appreciate it. Thank you for tuning in. I will see you guys soon.